Shafa. Hey guys, it's Hallie with Stock Bubble. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about how to tie a stack tie, so I thought it'd be a good idea to shoot a video and just show you guys how I tie one. Um, I learned from looking on the internet a lot, and if you do that, you'll see there are tons of different ways to tie one. So this is definitely not the right one, but it's just the one that I like the best. So um, I'm going to show you how I tie a stack tie using this jar. And then I'm going to show you how I tie one on myself, but we'll start with the jar. So when you get your stock bubble stock tie, you're going to notice that there's this string in the middle. And that is so that you can start your first loop without twisting the stock tie um, and creating kind of like some bulk on your neck. This makes sure that it's flat and looks really crisp when you're riding. So the first thing you're going to do is hold up your sock tie and you'll notice that one end is longer than the other. That's the end that you're going to put through that string to create your first loop. Once you've done that, make it pretty big because now it's time to put it on the jar. I like to make sure that the sides are pretty even. And then what I tell myself when tying it is right over left, left over right. And this is all from the perspective of the rider tying it themselves. So it's going to be backwards here to start. So first off, right over left, this is the right side for the rider. So we're going to put the right over the left. And then we're going to pull up and down to start. So up and down, up and down, nice and snug. Make sure the top part is straight. Um, that's going to be really important. So we've done step two here. Now we're going to think left over right from the rider's perspective. So here's our left. We're going to loop it around. And now we're going to pull side to side. And that's what's going to create our nice tie. We want to straighten it out, make sure both sides here aren't kind of crinkled, and now we're ready to fold over. And now I can show you how I tie it on myself. All right, so now I'm going to do this to myself, and now the right and left is going to make a lot more sense. So again, we find our two sides. The longer one goes through the string to create our first loop. We leave it pretty loose because it's going over our neck and we're going to pull and you can see the back is nice and flat. Make sure both sides are pretty even and now it's my right going over the left and we're going to pull up and down. Create that first part of the knot. We're going to flatten out the top. And now we're going to go left over right, pull side to side. We got our knot. We're going to fluff it up a little bit. We've got both sides nice and flat because now we're going to grab two safety pens. You should have these everywhere in your trailer or wherever you're getting ready. I don't know if you've seen riders that are wearing these and they kind of go over a jump and they just start flapping around. We want to avoid that. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it over. We want to create a lot of coverage when we do that. So don't feel like you need to go like this. Leave it kind of fluffed and crossed and we're covering as much of the shirt as we can. But then we're going to take both ends and safety pin them to our shirt. So this is probably the most important step. Don't have your stock tie flying around when you're in the dressage ring or in the show jumping ring. That's so embarrassing. And then once you've done that, you're all set. So I hope you enjoyed my video, how to tie stock tie. Hope it makes a lot more sense. Feel free to go on YouTube. There's tons of videos if this one didn't make sense, but um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.